Hey, Norman with iSave Tractors. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix a jerky hydrostatic transmission in this John Deere 316. Check it out. So I no longer work on outside customer's equipment, but this particular tractor belongs to a former customer I had before iSave Tractors existed. He asked me if I could fix the jerkiness of his hydrostatic transmission. Now as you can see when I move the tractor forward and backwards there's a lot of shaking that happens right at the beginning. So let's uh, get into this tractor and get this tractor fixed up. Now fortunately the problem of the jerky hydrostatic transmission is a very easy problem to fix. It is caused by this hydraulic dampener. This dampener is connected to the hydrostatic transmission lever and it helps keep the motion smooth. When the dampener wears out and all the oil inside is gone, it no longer is smooth and it, that's what leads to the jerky hydrostatic transmission. Now in the this particular John Deere 316, this dampener is located in the rear of the tractor. On other John Deere tractors, like the 140 or the 317 or the 400, this dampener is located in the dash tower. Now this dampener is pretty easy to get out. It's just held on with these little two-piece uh, bolt things. There's one in the rear, one in the front. Take them out, the whole dampener comes out. Here is the original dampener, and as you can see, it is no good. It should not be this easy to pull this piston in and out. Now here is a new hydraulic dampener, and as you can see, it is very difficult to pull the piston out and push it back in. This is how it should be. Here is the dampener installed back into the tractor. It was really hard to get footage of me putting it back in because of the tight space. I couldn't put the camera in and not block the view at the same time. But essentially you just put it in reverse order. You put the two bolt thingies back in. That's the official title. And then uh, that's it. Pretty easy. Ah, the tractor works great. It is much smoother. No more jerkiness. If you look at the seat when I move forward, it doesn't bounce up and down like at the beginning of the video. That has successfully fixed this tractor's problem. And there you have it, a quick video on how to fix your jerky hydrostatic transmission in one of your old vintage and antique John Deere garden tractors. Also, don't forget this entire channel is sponsored by iSaveTractors.com. We are the leading aftermarket parts developers for the old cast iron small engines that power old garden tractors like this John Deere 316. We make parts for the old ca cast iron Kohler K-Series, KT Twin Series, Magnum Series, Tecumseh, Briggs & Stratton, and own in engines. My name is Norman. Thanks for watching.